Hello, Robbie Susan Chandler here from RobbieSusanCardsAndCrafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Quincy, Florida, right outside Tallahassee, Florida. Today I'm going to share a really cool technique with you called overstamping. Now I made a video with the Xenia uh, stamp set and I called it Stamp Over, which uh, is kind of the same definition, overstamping, stamp over. But uh, technically, when I Googled it, it's called overstamping. It's when you stamp words or whatever over other words or other images. So the basic concept with stamping uh, images and stamping up is you stamp your image, then you color it, and then you stamp it again. But the secret is you've got to be able to put it in the same place both times or you'll end up with this blurry look. I remember there used to be a t-shirt called Mozimo or Mozimo or something like that that had that blurry look on the front. Anyway, that's the kind of the look you'll get. So, um, I guess you'd like to see a few cards with the technique before I do it. Uh, here's one we did with the dogwood. And we uh, stamped it, colored it, stamped it again. Here's another one with the dogwood where I left it white. And basically to get a white dogwood, all you do is color your leaves and your centers and then stamp back over it. And then here's where I moved on to the zinnias. Here's one with the bubble bath and colored it, stamped it, well stamped it, colored it, and stamped again. And then here's another one and this one is with um, Poppy Parade I believe or either Melon Mambo. Probably Melon Mambo. And same technique with it. So let's get started to see exactly how you would do this. So first thing you need your stamp positioner and any one that you have will do. It just so happens I have the Stampin' Up! one that we can't get anymore but it's what I use so. And I'm using the Xenia stamp and you want a, uh, a stamp that has some detail in it like this would probably be a good one too. But you also want one that has a die that goes with it because you're going to have to cut that die out. So let's put this, let's get this mounted and when I'm using the Stamparatus and even any stamp positioner I kind of like to get as far away from the edge as I can because it doesn't like to stamp very nicely up against the edge. So let's mount it onto our plate here. And I'm going to use basic gray. And I just like basic gray as opposed to memento black or stays on because it doesn't smear. I, I just have trouble sometimes with my um, memento tuxedo black smearing, which is not, not good. All right, so there's the image. I'm going to do it one more time. You don't have to worry about this you get these halos it just doesn't matter doesn't count all right okay now you're going to remove this and remember, I've got this right down in the corner so it should be here it should be in the same place every time you remove this and I'm going to slip over here real quick and cut this out on the stamparatus um, okay I'm back and I've got this cut out here's our what I'm going to call our stencil so you want to drop that back down in the corner where you started and I'll give you some advice. I like to tape it. I don't want it going anywhere so I put a little piece of tape on it but I want to make sure it's in the right place before I start stamping a bunch of stencils. So I just slip a piece of computer paper underneath just like that. Well, my tape's in the way. There we go. All right, so slip your piece of computer paper under there. Ink up your stamp. And then let's give it a shot and see what we've got. Yep, it looks like it's stamped right back in the same place. Looks good to me. Can you see that? All right, so let's try a real one. Check this out. And I'm going to uh, put another piece of tape on this because I really want it to stay where it is. Okay, so let's drop one of our cutouts. So what you do, just go ahead and cut several of the zinnias out with your die. Drop it in. And you know, if you're going to make a lot of these, this is an easy way to reproduce. Like if you're doing a swap and you're making 10 or 20 of these, you can cut them out real quick and then set up your stencil and drop them in here. And it's a lot quicker than stamping and then lining up your die and then stamping again. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to do it one more time. I want a little bit darker. Okay, there we have it. Now, you could uh, color this. If it's just you, 
color it right here on the Stamparatus and then you wouldn't have to worry about getting it positioned up again. But I'm not going to do that because I want to show you how well it works the other way. So I'm going to start by coloring this. Okay, now we have our flower all colored, and I will admit I'm not the best coloring person in the world. I think being left-handed has its drawbacks sometimes, but anyway. So, now it's colored. So, we've stamped, we've colored. Now, let's put it back in our stamp positioner, right back in the spot we took it out of. Now, I want you to get a good look at it before you stamp it again. All right, notice how the, the petals on the flower they're just kind of there but not very distinctive and the leaves just kind of there not real distinctive so let's see what happens when we put our gray ink back on top our basic gray back on top of what we've colored all right I'm gonna bring it over stamp it good and I might want to do a second one. Oh yeah already can you see the difference see how those petals already pop quite a bit of difference. I love it. So much fun. I've just been going crazy with this lately because I just love the way it makes the flowers pop. It almost makes it look like a painted drawing, you know, that you see framed probably in a doctor's office or in an office somewhere. Okay, there it is. Love it. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. All right, so you see the, the petals, how they pop now. You've got more definition. So anyway, then you would just pop it on a card. So this is Melamambo now that I put it next to Poppy Parade. I can see the difference. So we just put it on a card. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I just wanted to uh, show, the, show you this technique. Maybe you'll try it. It's really not that hard. The tricky part is just lining up your uh, stencil here so that your, your uh, piece that you've cut out will fall right back in that hole every time. I hope you like this uh, technique. Give me a comment down there on whether or not you've used it before and it's an old technique to you. It was a new one to me. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you hadn't. Just click on my picture uh, and like this video. And if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. So until next time, happy crafting.